Greetings fellow adventurers, this is Dark Fireslide, and welcome to a quick guide video on the Slayer, wrong. the new class in uh, Beneath the Stolen Lands uh, that came with the expansion. Uh, for those of you who are curious about the class or kind of wondering what it's all about, uh, in a nutshell, I'm going to go over that today in uh, today's video. The main thing about it to know is that it's basically a hybrid of a uh, rogue and a fighter uh, with a little bit of like ranger sprinkled in for good measure. So. The main uh, way that I suggest playing a Slayer, probably the most effective way to play one, uh, is to just go with like a ranged focus here. So take your standard point blank shot, precise shot, rapid shot, deadly aim, uh, mini shot, etc. Um, anything that you would normally take with a ranged character, you, you'll want to take here on the Slayer. Uh, at least the standard Slayer for sure. Some of the archetypes, if you want to theory craft with those, uh, I believe there is one that's more melee focused. Uh, with the regular Slayer, I do recommend that you go ranged. Uh, and the reason for that is because they have an excellent ability called Study Target, um, which is kind of like the Ranger's favorite enemy ability, except that you can apply it to pretty much any enemy. Um, so if we look here, um, starting out, the Study Target ability is a move action, so it'll take part of your turn to actually use. Um, and based on your Slayer level, you actually get a bonus on weapon attack and damage rolls uh, against that target. As well, um, any abilities such as combat maneuvers um, also have their uh, DC, like their uh, save DCs, combat maneuver bonuses, etc., uh, increased um, against that Study Target. So uh, it increases by... Uh, plus one every five levels so at fifth level it's plus two tenth level it's plus three and then twentieth level it caps up it caps out at plus five plus five at seventh level study target becomes a swift action uh, which means that you can use it very quickly uh, at the start of your turn before using any of your actual attacks or anything like that uh, which means that you're able to quickly uh, just go ahead and retarget different characters at will. And more or less how you want to play a Slayer is uh, you'll use them more or less as like a ranged fighter, rogue, ranger, um, because that is kind of the class, the classes that the Slayer is based on. Um, but the nice thing about the Slayer is that he's a lot more uh, adaptable than some of the other classes are. So where fighters have an issue uh, dealing sometimes the raw amount of damage that you need, um, the Slayer can kind of pick it up. Um, and that's and that's thanks to the Slayer still getting a decent amount of sneak attack. It's not as much as a Rogue. Uh, it only goes up to 66 naturally, um, as opposed to the Rogue's 10d6. But um, that also means that in situations where enemies aren't uh, sneak attackable, so uh, constructs, uh, in some cases, uh, plants, oozes, things like that, um, where the rogue would have issues, the slayer can still do enough raw damage with like a good strength score that it's not going to be as much of an issue if you run into those situations. Um, so how I've built this slayer in particular, uh, we're in 12th level and beneath the stolen lands on challenging difficulty. Um, I've taken point blank shot and precise shot at first level. Going human in beneath the stolen lands to get those for the first uh, two levels is pretty nice. Um, and then the nice thing about the Slayer is you have options as far as your early development goes. Uh, so instead of rogue talents, you get uh, things called Slayer talents instead. Um, these allow you to take things like uh, Trap Finding is not a natural ability that the Slayer gets, but you can take it as one of your Slayer talents. Uh, and so it really just allows this character to kind of be a, a tougher, bulkier, more versatile rogue when it comes to damage dealing. Um, and so they get, they actually get access to a lot of the rogue talents specifically, uh, which can be very useful indeed. Uh, in the case of this character, I've mostly focused on uh, taking uh, the ranged combat style, and uh, this character can get access to the um, combat styles that a ranger can, although I don't really recommend doing that because you can just take the combat trick, uh, rogue trick, in, or a slayer talent instead, uh, which is a lot more versatile, just because then you can take any feat you're not locked into. Uh, one path or another, uh, although it certainly is an option if you wanted it to be like for role playing purposes, for example, uh, for people who are going to be picking up this class for campaign specifically. Now, all of that being said, uh, how does this class actually play in practice? Like I said, it's going to be a lot like a rogue, so even if you do use them in melee, you'll want to keep them uh, out of harm's way because uh, while they can wear up to medium armor like a ranger, um, they're still going to be kind of squishy overall just because uh, their main focuses are going to be on strength and dexterity for damage uh, especially for archer characters although a slayer can certainly build towards um, being like a, a melee strength type character as well it really just depends on what you want to do although I do think the archer is more effective just because then you can study target from you know across the room 
instead of having to be up close, and uh, it allows you to deal that ranged sneak attack that is just so, so powerful. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to give an example of what the Slayer looks like in combat, and then uh, we'll go ahead and wrap up this video. Okay, I think there's going to be enemies in this room. Yep. Okay, so we got an Alpha War. We'll go ahead and stop the party Ready here. For anything. And uh, if you guys want any more quick class overviews like this, uh, just let me know in the comments and I'll uh, try to push out a video for it. So first thing we're going to do before we enter the room, we're going to summon a large earth elemental uh, to kind of draw the oh, enemy's attention. And then, let's see, we'll cast Divine Power with our Cleric uh, to kind of get her waiting. combat ready. And we'll cast a Divine Favor on our Paladin. So the Slayer doesn't really have any magic. Um, the Slayer will be re mostly relying on uh, comrades here. in order to actually get um, bonuses. So what we're going to do is send our uh, Paladin and Cleric up to a favorable position here. Um, and really, th the way that the Slayer excels over a lot of other classes... Um, we'll go after this Hodag instead. I think the Earth Elements will kind of hang on to those. Uh, we do have a couple of nasty enemies in here, so we'll be looking to disable them with our Wizard, if at all possible. Let's see. Hold off on that for just a second. We'll go ahead and uh, shoot a Fireball into the room, though. Uh, controlled Fireball. We can do it. And then more or less how how this works is um, once these two characters are in, in position, uh, we can begin sneak attacking um, this Hodag, which will do a lot of damage. And then before we do that, I we'll actually want to use a studied target. I found that the best way to do this is to bind this to a pretty uh, close key so that um, you always have it accessible because there's no limit on how many times you can do this. And when you get to seventh level and it becomes a swift action, it doesn't even really cost you anything to actually use. So uh, we're going to stop her in her tracks. We're going to use uh, the study target. You'll see a little uh, light pop up, um, and that's it's very similar to how, uh, for example, the um, Paladin Smite ability uh, works. Then we'll just go ahead and make uh, our first attack roll here. So uh, we hit with our uh, many shot ability, and as we can see, uh, as we look into uh, the damage um, breakdown here, uh, so three points of damage um, are applied and uh, three points of attack bonus get applied as well. So even though we rolled a two, we still got a 29 total uh, just because of all the different bonuses that we have. Um, and this character in particular has a, has a plus two to attack bonuses uh, while uh, thanks to a boon that we got um, for finishing a, a previous run. Um, so that's not always going to be there. And the thing is, when before you get to really high levels, you'll have to really juggle whether or not you want more sneak attacks every round using rapid shot, or if you want more damage per shot uh, using things like deadly aim and clustered shot to get through damage reduction. Um, and then if we look at our damage, um, it applies to each arrow that hits with many shots, so uh, the damage for that adds up really, really quickly. Um, and then we can just immediately, uh, since we're still on our turn, um, we will study this next target in a moment here, um, but until that this round ends, we're not really going to be able to do anything this about it, but we will hurt. go ahead and manually switch targets, and when you're playing this class, you really want to uh, be micromanaging, just like you would with a rogue, making sure that they're out of danger, especially if they're in the front, um, and as we can see, uh, we get a sneak attack off against that Manticore because he was flanked, and we do 40 points of damage with one shot. Um, it's very easy with this class to do a lot of damage every round, um, even against uh, like higher level enemies and things like that. So, so yeah, that's really all there is to it. Make sure when you're using the Slayer to give them lots of party buffs and things like that. Uh, things like heroism, greater heroism. Uh, bull strength is really good if they're using a composite bow, uh, just to give them more damage. Cat's Grace, obviously, is really good as well. Um, thing, anything that Im improves attacking is going to help the Slayer out uh, and, and just deal that intense amount of damage that you just saw. So, anyway, um, that's a quick tactical guide and overview of the Slayer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions about the class, be sure to leave that in the comments. And uh, let me know if you want to see any additional uh, quick class guides like this in the future, uh, just kind of going over what they're all about, whether or not you want to play one, uh, etc. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.